The history of the Netherlands is a history of seafaring people thriving in the Lowland River Delta on the North Sea in northwestern Europe. Records begin with the four centuries during which the region formed a militarized border zone of the Roman Empire. This came under increasing pressure from Germanic peoples moving westwards. As Roman power collapsed and the Middle Ages began, three dominant Germanic peoples coalesced in the area, Frisians in the north and coastal areas. Low Saxons in the northeast, and the Franks in the south. During the Middle Ages, the descendants of the Carolinian dynasty came to dominate the area, and then extended their rule to a large part of Western Europe. The region nowadays corresponding to the Netherlands, therefore became part of Lower Lotharingia within the Frankish Holy Roman Empire. For several centuries, lordships such as Brabant Holland, Zeeland, Friesland, Gelders and others, held a changing patchwork of territories. There was no unified equivalent of the modern Netherlands. By 1433, the Duke of Burgundy had assumed control over most of the Lowlands territories in Lower Lotharingia. He created the Burgundian Netherlands, which included modern Netherlands Belgium, Luxembourg, and a part of France. The Catholic kings of Spain took strong measures against Protestantism which polarized the peoples of present-day Belgium and the Netherlands. The subsequent Dutch revolt led to the splitting in 1581 of the Burgundian Netherlands into a Catholic, French and Dutch-speaking, Spanish Netherlands, approximately corresponding to modern Belgium and Luxembourg, and in northern United Provinces, or Dutch Republic, which spoke Dutch and was predominantly Protestant. The latter entity became the modern Netherlands. In the Dutch Golden Age, which had its zenith around 1667. There was a flowering of trade, industry, and the sciences. A rich worldwide Dutch empire developed, and the Dutch East India Company became one of the earliest and most important of national mercantile companies, based on invasion, colonialism, and extraction of outside resources. During the 18th century, the power, wealth and influence of the Netherlands declined. A series of wars with the more powerful British and French neighbors weakened it. The English seized the North American colony of New Amsterdam and renamed it New York. There was growing unrest and conflict between the Orangists and the Patriots. The French Revolution spilled over after 1789, and a pro-French Batavian Republic was established in 1795-1806. Napoleon made it a satellite state, the Kingdom of Holland, 1806-1810, and later simply a French imperial province. After the defeat of Napoleon in 1813-1815, an expanded United Kingdom of the Netherlands was created with the House of Orange as monarchs, also ruling Belgium and Luxembourg. The king imposed unpopular Protestant reforms on Belgium, which revolted in 1830 and became independent in 1839. After an initially conservative period, following the introduction of the 1848 constitution, the country became a parliamentary democracy with a constitutional monarch. Modern-day Luxembourg became officially independent from the Netherlands in 1839 but a personal union remained until 1890. Since 1890, it is ruled by another branch of the House of Nassau. The Netherlands was neutral during the First World War, but during the Second World War, it was invaded and occupied by Nazi Germany. The Nazis, including many collaborators, rounded up and killed almost all of the country's Jewish population. When the Dutch resistance increased, the Nazis cut off food supplies to much of the country, causing severe starvation in 1944-1945. In 1942, the Dutch East Indies were conquered by Japan, but prior to this the Dutch destroyed the oil wells for which Japan was desperate. Indonesia proclaimed its independence from the Netherlands in 1945, followed by Suriname in 1975. The post-war years saw rapid economic recovery, helped by the American Marshall Plan followed by the introduction of a welfare state during an era of peace and prosperity. The Netherlands formed a new economic alliance with Belgium and Luxembourg, the Benelux, and all three became founding members of the European Union and NATO. In recent decades, the Dutch economy has been closely linked to that of Germany and is highly prosperous. The four countries adopted the euro on 1 January 2002 along with eight other EU members. The area that is now the Netherlands was inhabited by early humans at least 37,000 years ago, as attested by flint tools discovered in Warden, 
In 2010.1 in 2009, a fragment of a 40,000-year-old Neanderthal skull was found in sand dredged from the North Sea floor off the coast of Zealand. During the last ice age, the Netherlands had a tundra climate with scarce vegetation, and the inhabitants survived as hunter-gatherers. After the end of the Ice Age, various Paleolithic groups inhabited the area. It is known that around 8000 BC a Mesolithic tribe resided near Bergumermar, Friesland. Another group residing elsewhere is known to have made canoes. The oldest recovered canoe in the world is the Pest Canoe.34 according to C14 dating analysis. It was constructed somewhere between 8200 BC and 7600. This canoe is exhibited in the Drenz Museum in Assen. Autochthonous hunter-gatherers from the Swifterbent culture are attested from around 5600 BC onwards.5. They are strongly linked to rivers and open water, and were related to the southern Scandinavian herbal culture. 5300-4000 BC. To the west, the same tribes might have built hunting camps to hunt winter game, including seal. Agriculture arrived in the Netherlands somewhere around 5000 BC, with the linear pottery culture, who were probably Central European farmers. Agriculture was practiced only on the lowest plateau in the very south, southern Limburg, but even there it was not established permanently. Farms did not develop in the rest of the Netherlands. There is also some evidence of small settlements in the rest of the country. These people made the switch to animal husbandry sometime between 4800 BC and 4500 BC. Dutch archaeologist Leendert Lauwekuijmans wrote, It is becoming increasingly clear that the agricultural transformation of prehistoric communities was a purely indigenous process that took place very gradually. This transformation took place as early as 4300 BC-4000 BC and featured the introduction of grains in small quantities into a traditional broad-spectrum economy. The funnel beaker culture was a farming culture extending from Denmark through northern Germany into the northern Netherlands. In this period of Dutch prehistory, the first notable remains were erected. The dolmens, large stone grave monuments, they are found in Drenthe and were probably built between 4100 BC and 3200 BC. To the west, the Vlerdingen culture, around 2600 BC, an apparently more primitive culture of hunter-gatherers, survived well into the Neolithic period, around 2950 BC. There was a transition from the funnel beaker farming culture to the corded ware pastoralist culture a large archaeological horizon appearing in Western and Central Europe that is associated with the advance of Indo-European languages. This transition was probably caused by D. E. V. E. L. O. P. M. E. N. T. S. clarification needed in Eastern Germany, and it occurred within two generations. The bell beaker culture was also present in the Netherlands. The corded ware and bell beaker cultures were not indigenous to the Netherlands, but were pan-European in nature, extending across much of northern and central Europe. The first evidence of the use of the wheel dates from this period, about 2400 BC. This culture also experimented with working with copper. Evidence of this, including stone anvils, copper knives, and a copper spearhead, was found on the value. Copper finds show that there was trade with other areas in Europe, as natural copper is not found in Dutch soil. The Bronze Age probably started somewhere around 2000 BC and lasted until around 800 BC. The earliest bronze tools have been found in the grave of a Bronze Age individual called the Smith of Wageningen. More Bronze Age objects from later periods have been found in Ypres, Drouwen and elsewhere. Broken bronze objects found in Vorschatten were apparently destined for recycling. This indicates how valuable bronze was considered in the Bronze Age. Typical bronze objects from this period included knives, swords, axes, fibulae and bracelets. Most of the Bronze Age objects found in the Netherlands have been found in Drenthe. One item shows that trading networks during this period extended a far distance. Large bronze sicily, Buckets, found in Drenthe, were manufactured somewhere in eastern France or in Switzerland. They were used for mixing wine with water, a Roman Greek custom. The many finds in Drenthe of rare and valuable objects, such as tin bead necklaces, suggest that Drenthe was a trading center in the Netherlands in the Bronze Age. The Bell Beaker cultures, 2700-2100, locally developed into the Bronze Age barbed wire beaker culture, 
2100-1800. In the 2nd millennium BC, the region was the boundary between the Atlantic and Nordic horizons, and was split into a northern and a southern region, roughly divided by the course of the Rhine. In the north, the Alp culture, c. 1800-800 BC-11, was a Bronze Age archaeological culture, having earthenware pottery of low quality, known as Kummer Keramik, or grub keramic as a marker. The initial phase was characterized by tumuli, 1800-1200 BC, that were strongly tied to contemporary tumuli in northern Germany and Scandinavia, and were apparently related to the tumulus culture, 1600-1200 BC in Central Europe. This phase was followed by a subsequent change featuring urnfield, cremation, Burial Customs, 1200-800 BC. The southern region became dominated by the Hilversum culture, 1800-800, which apparently inherited the cultural ties with Britain of the previous barbed wire beaker.